I have agonised over this one for some time and possibly it should have ended up in the rejects bin and this will just go to prove that not everybody's a superhero including me and every now and again things go wrong this is converting a Backman grain wagon I did a review on these uh, a little while ago link in the corner this is um, an attempt to convert this standard wagon into a vacuum braked wagon which is why well, I thought it was going to be really easy it's only adjusting the wheelbase adding a few details I've got quite a lot of vacuum cylinders laying about in spares boxes and stuff but none for uh, hopper wagons which end up going on top of the sole bar so I decided to make my own because um, they're really quite expensive and I didn't I wanted to keep the cost quite low on this one I was really pleased with the way the cylinders turned out and once they were attached to the the body of the uh, wagon they looked even better I decided to put them on the body as opposed to on the chassis I don't know why just that it just seemed the easy option the next thing to do was put the vacuum pipe the brake pipe down the side of the wagon which goes behind these uh, stanchions but it's easier to do in sections in model form the body on the two wagons the vacuum braked one and the non braked one are virtually the same and when I say virtually I, it does say in the books that they are different but it doesn't stipulate what difference it is and I couldn't see any just by looking at pictures dismantling the chassis was next taking all the component parts off and getting it ready for some chopping rather than going hell for leather with the cutting disc I thought I'd cut the bits off delicately or carefully and uh, put them in the spares box for further use later on or on another project the next stage was to cut out gaps in the underframe for the brass W irons that I was about to bend up it was at this stage that things didn't go quite the way I planned after cutting out the hole in the in the chassis and then had to file it wider and this made the sole bar area extremely thin and delicate which was to cause a problem later on I used the original uh, axle boxes and W irons that would all did just cut off as a guide in conjunction with the body to see where the new position of them was going to be. I'd, I'd, <coughs> I'd got them lined up and in the correct position and s glued in and as you can see in this shot the sole bar has already gone into slight deformation around the axle boxes axle guards and things only got worse from that point on however I won't be disheartened and I won't give in I'm going to finish this project it may well take a couple of weeks I uh, need to order some replacement parts from wizard models and as soon as that is done they'll be back on the bench and hopefully they'll get finished a few years ago these would have been consigned to the too difficult box and would never have seen the light of day again however because I'm now doing this YouTube thing I find it much more difficult to put things away like that so they definitely will return does it stop me from doing this sort of thing no not really it's dented my conf uh, confidence just a little bit but 